All aboard the Nostalgia Train. Today we are boarding Shenmue 2, which was just released on PC, Xbox One, and PS4, I believe. At least today we're playing on the PC. Shenmue 2, unbelievable. Finally released after all these years. I remember playing it about 12 or so years ago on the original Xbox, and that was such an amazing game. I remember playing it because my parents didn't let me play Grand Theft Auto. And this was an open world game with much less violence. So as a child, this was the bee's knees for me. But I fell in love with the game. Unfortunately, I didn't play the very first game. And I'm not going to do a let's play of it as of yet. I do want to get back into doing the whole let's play and videos. I've definitely missed it a lot. And we'll get back into why I haven't been uploading in a while. But let's go ahead and start the game. This game has an amazing story. So I definitely recommend staying tuned in to these cutscenes. Which are also... 4x3 uh, aspect ratio to, for the immersion and the nostalgia factor. I remember seeing this back in the day. This was unbelievable. This looks so lifelike. Now, unfortunately, you do have the mouse very visible, but there's not really much that I can do. There's uh, quite a few options that you can muck around with, which is nice. Uh, but I'm not able to get rid of the mouse or at least make it a little bit more appealing. It just looks very, very basic. But boy, oh boy, this brings back so many memories. I, I think the first time I ever played this was on those Xbox 360 or Xbox Magazine's uh, demo discs that they had. Back when demos were a thing. Not glorified, glorified betas, but demos were a real thing back in my childhood. And uh, you could play in this Hong Kong level over and over again. I pretty much explored every corner of the map. Great memories. Very much looking forward to playing this. So, yeah, it's uh, 16 by 9 resolution that we can play in 1080p and all of that good stuff. So, uh, that's pretty new, but it is not a, I guess, a remake. It's just a direct port, essentially. Uh, so, there's going to be um, compressed audio issues and all of that kind of stuff in here as well. Uh, but, can't really complain too much. I personally would have loved a remake, though. Of course, that takes a little bit more resources. So you can see, I'm pretty sure we're in Hong Kong. From memory. I think some, the story goes along the lines of our father died, or father was killed, actually. And we're trying to avenge him. And this guy, Ryu, Ryu, I guess is how you pronounce his name. Um, yeah, he's uh, just a basic average Joe. I'm trying to, uh, he's nothing special, really. I'm trying to avenge his father's death. But here we go. Into the land of Hong Kong. Which is actually quite a massive um, map as well. Wan Zai, South Kermain Quarter, Yan Ten Apartments. This is where Li Xiao Tao is? First, I need to find Wan Zai. All right, so we're into the bustling hub of Hong Kong. As you can see, all these ships and uh, the cityscape looking quite amazing. I love the water as well. It actually does look pretty good. you got to think, this game was released, I think, originally about oh, 20 or so years ago. And back then, this would have been so amazing. I played this only on the Xbox version, so a couple of years after it was originally released, but still quite a while away. Stay and listen to a song. This is, of course, a very unique to, travelers. to games back then. Remember, we can actually choose to pay these guys or not. Yeah, here we go. Let's actually go get some good luck. I don't think uh, money will really help us. But I'll do it. Gave him $10, which is, I guess, quite a bit. Quite a tip. But, of course, you can hustle and make more money. Where are you headed to? I'm looking for a place called Wanzai. Wanzai is that way. Thank you very much. All right, so I'm assuming it's that pixelated background. Now they're really chucky into Hong Kong because there's a lot of people that actually end up stopping you. 
Um, you can also talk to all of these guys, which is very, very cool. Uh, let's see. Come and get Here we go. It. Step right up. It's hot and delicious. He's talking about the corn, I hope. Excuse me. Hi, welcome. Um. Hot off the grill. You've got to have some. No, I want to ask directions. Huh? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Which way is it to one's eye? One's eye? Well, first you go through that gate. You head for where you can see a big fountain. If you lose your way, ask somebody else along the way. All right. Thank you. So you might be able to see there's a clock on the right hand side. This game does have a day night cycle, I believe, or at least a uh, morning afternoon cycle, at least. These uh, corn cobs definitely look uh, very multicolored, I've got to say. I don't know if you guys have seen, but there's a uh, real multicolored corn these days, which is just uh, unbelievable. Some genetic mutation or something of the sort. Uh, looks actually very appealing, like candy almost. Welcome to Hong Kong. I remember this guy wanted to belt him when I was a kid. Are you a lone boy? You need a place to stay. I was definitely a child a offender, predator. Hey, handsome! Let me take your photo. Uh, oh, the, my memories keep flooding in. Someone just took a picture of you. Huh? He's going to try and sell it to you later. He'll be persistent, but you don't have to buy it. Uh, okay. Be careful. Not all people are nice in Hong Kong. I understand. If you need a place to stay, try that Free Stay Lodge. Free Stay Lodge? You can always stay there for free. You are so kind. You were good to her on the ship when she was scared. Well, take care of yourself. Bye, Rio. Goodbye. Right, I think there might have been a cutscene right at the start before he even hit the um, the I'm start busy, screen. You were heading for Wan's eye, right? Yes. Which is, I guess, where you meet this lady first off. Which is, I guess, why we're missing a little bit of the story. I think. Which way is it to Wan's eye? Wan's eye. Go through the gate, take a right, and keep going to get to Wan's eye. Thank you. All that were part of the uh, original ending of the first Shenmue. Now you can actually buy maps here as well. Uh, I'm not sure if I remember this poster here though. Uh, Virtual Fighter. I'm pretty sure that's new. Of course, there's uh, a couple of differences. Uh, might be music. I'm not quite sure on the music, but uh, the watch licenses. So watches are actually a pretty, um, I think, from memory, like a pretty important part of the game. I remember this. How cool is this? This back in the day would have been amazing. You can actually look at your clock in real life, I guess, on your arm. Uh, a lot of uh, things we can seemingly collect. Aha, uh -huh. so these are like little uh, toys, little mini collectibles. Shopkins. Talking about Shopkins, I'm absolutely loving uh, Who is America with uh, Sasha Baron Cohen. He's actually, he actually impersonates a YouTuber doing um, unboxings in one of the videos. Funniest thing I've ever seen. All right. So let's go back, and uh, we also have a mission log here. Actually, you know, that's the wrong button. Here we go. So we've got to find one Zai, and a mother, a mother and child from ship told me of Free Stay Lodge. So if we ever need to uh, get some uh, help, we can always uh, come back to that because this game, of course, back 20 years ago, games were very different. Not much of a tutorial or anything of the sort. Let's go talk to Excuse this guy. Me. Yes. Which way is it to one's eye? Um, go through the gate, then take a right. All right, so let's actually go through the gate because it seems like that's a pretty important thing to do. Uh, but I also would like to... Okay, so this is the gate. Yes, yeah, so over here is the entrance to the lodge. What I'm going to do is just actually buy a map. Playing this on keyboard and mouse, which is quite a little bit different as well. Uh, we can zoom in as well, which is nice. Here we go. A map. Yeah, it definitely is a bit finicky because I remember playing this. I guess it was designed to be played on a controller. This area. It'll be useful. I 
don't really remember what the maps do though. Oh, actually, here we go. That's what they do. <laughs> wow. Look at that mini map. That is ages ago, those mini maps. It definitely brings back memories. I can't wait. Like, the best form of, uh, I guess, gaming for me is just to uh, bring back these memories that I had as a child that I can't even remember now. Like, I'm looking forward to some things that I can't remember at the moment that just come flooding back. The music, everything. Just so good. All right. Let's also buy this map. Because you can never have two maps. Too many maps. I already have one. All right. So it seems like we're still in the pier. I remember there being some arm wrestling, which I think is right over here. Guys don't seem too impressed. Too bad, fella. Thanks for the money. Damn. What do you want, boy? <laughs> you look pretty strong. How about a game? I'm looking for someone. If you can beat him, I'll be out. Really? Sure. Ten dollars a bet. How about it? Well, I'm not going to say no to a challenge like that. Yeah. All right. That's a spirit. You're Japanese, aren't you? What's your name? Yo. Yo Hazuki. Yo Hazuki, eh? Okay. Let's go. Here's our powerful challenger. A samurai boy from Japan. Yo Hazuki. Who's he fighting? He's Mexican. Right. I thought he was a native. I was going to say, he definitely doesn't fit the bill. You're going to love <laughs> the shape of his body, the textures and all. God, what do I press? What do I do? I think actually this is one of those things where we're set up to lose, actually. I'm not even sure what I was supposed to do then. <laughs> I think I, I'm sure that there was a way that we can win that, uh, but it doesn't really seem to uh, come to me. Of course, this is uh, much different on keyboard or mouse. Shea American. You can easily get run over. Where's one side? Huh? One side. <laughs> oh, it's that way. I see. Hey, what's your name? Yo. Yo, I'm Joy. You better watch out. There's lots of things here. I think we end up being best friends or something of the sort. She helps us out along the way. Which, of course, wouldn't surprise me. Um, let's go check out what it says here. Arm wrestling matched held at peer warehouses and met a girl named Joy, a strong-minded woman on a motorcycle. Indeed, she did seem quite strong-minded. There is a way to run, no doubt. Uh, I can't really figure that out. There are options as well, of course. Um, so maybe we can go through them. So probably oh, most of you... Um, most interested in the graphics we've got a uh, 1080p up here i've turned off bloom because that's uh, not really something that i like uh, but yeah that's pretty much it for those options now let's just quickly have a look at sprints uh, run is shift which doesn't seem to be working not quite sure holding both shifts holding one shift uh, maybe well, let's see if we can change the options um Run, I will change run to like T. Yes, there we go. 
That works. Uh, now we're running around like a lunatic. I don't know if you guys noticed, but his legs just seem so out of proportion out of his body. Like, they're so much larger than the rest of his body. wonder if there's anything here. Um, although it is a bit r hard running, um, pressing T. And uh, trying to change directions. Uh, so what is happening over here, folks? Anything we can join in? Forty dollars now. You earn forty dollars. How's that? You'll do it, right? No, no. Not wasting no, that much money. That's okay. Sure. Are you sure? It's almost ten percent right, of our money. Come back if you change your mind. I mean, I know we're tourists, but I'm definitely not that frugal. Gotta be say. Well, I'm definitely more frugal than that. Sorry, <laughs> is what I should say. Hong Kong um, cityscape looks quite amazing as well. All right, Pigeon Park. I remember this. I remember something about a bar being over here. The Pigeon Cafe, maybe. What I'm thinking of. I remember thinking. Remember thinking that um, walking into buildings and being able to like actually check out their interiors was so amazing. It's unbelievable. It's, it actually looks pretty nice inside here. Now, where's the dartboard from memory? It might be... Well, let's go talk to this lady. Maybe she'll be able to help us. Hi. Which way is one die? Do you want me to take you there? Oh, please. Well, could you just give me the directions? You won't get far as a tourist in this city. That's fine. Please tell me how to get there. Right. One's eye is past Queen Street. Follow the street out front to the left. I see. Thank you. Well, it seems pretty easy to get around. And it doesn't seem like this is the place with the dartboard. So let's go look for that, because that was a lot of fun. I remember wasting so much time playing that. Should be one of these buildings. Maybe this one. Also, we can, like, drink Coke cans and all that kind of stuff, a bar swing. No. Doesn't seem uh, too PG-rated bar swing. Let's go check out. Are we still in oh, no. the same area? Yes. No, we're not. We can buy it. Area ahead of here. I'll get it. So I think that's, yeah, Queen Street. Very nice. That uh, should hopefully help us out. Now, there's no landmarks that I can really notice on the mini-maps either, though. So, it's just a um, rough sketch of where you can go. Doesn't really tell you much more than that. But it seems like I should be going this way. Hey, help me. I remember this kid. He steals our backpack. Part of a gang. <laughs> wow. The memories. The kid if you don't want to get hurt. What are you going to do? It's none of your business. I don't think so. <laughs> Looks like he wants to get hurt. I'm not the one who'll get hurt here. Walk now. Run. What the? Wait! I lost them. You don't say. Mirrors inside that bag. That's no good. No good at all. I'd imagine there's quite a few scams like that around as well. Um, let's go inside this building. Hong Kong souvenirs. See what we're able to uh, purchase here. If anything. Yeah, what? So rude. God. These four guys stole my bag. Well, that's just awful. Do you know anything about the guys that stole it? No, I don't. But you should try asking the Poison Brothers. The Poison Brothers? I hear they know everything about the hoodlums around here. 
Thank you. About the Poison Brothers, do you know where they are? They're always at the porridge shop on Queen Street. Thank you. Nice look at wall and fan there. Uh, but I'm assuming that's uh, pointing into the general direction that we're supposed to be going in. Now, if only we could uh, fit through there. And exit. There we go. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's uh, definitely you notice that it's made for a control of this game. Let's go change that setting back again with the run because it's getting annoying pressing T. I should be able to press shift. Um, Alright, escape. Escape. Yes. There we go. Now it works. Which is great because it makes life a lot easier. Best thing about the PC version, the loading times are pretty much non-existent. Whereas on the Dreamcast, I think that uh, you'd be waiting for a couple of them, at least a minute, maybe. Uh, due to the fact that it's got to load up from the disc. Back then, I guess the read speeds weren't all that fast either. I think they're back here, though, these guys. That stole our backpack, maybe? I remember exploring around here. I mean, there must be a reason that we can come up here. Maybe there's got to be something, some reason that we can come up here. What in the world is this uh, graffiti here for? I guess it's just there as a landmark. Not much else. I wonder what this whole section is here for. It's made, it's designed pretty well. Maybe we come here a little bit later on. Uh, but let's go out the way that the game pointed us to which was this way all oh, right this is the way yeah that's the way that we just went i don't know where that dart shop was we definitely went past it there's a sign to one's eye let's maybe talk to this guy maybe he's seen them running around excuse me huh can i ask you something hey you can't get things for free I'll tell you if you play Lucky Hit here. I understand. Well, it looks like we're going to have to play Lucky Hit, Hello. so let's go try it. Come and play one shot here. Or one shot, then. Let's go check out the rules. How do I play? Drop it once, and if it gets in the circle, you win. So it's called one shot. The bet and the payout are shown by the stands. Pick one. You'll give it a try, right? Well, I need your help. Mr. Monobrow. I want to try it. Pick a stand. All right, now, where does it say how much they cost? Oh, here we go. The bottom right. <laughs> Let's look at the top. All right, so we got that ten dollars, five dollars, and ten dollars again. Okay, I don't know why you choose this one because the odds aren't really all that good. Whereas here, the odds are much better, it seems like. Whereas the $5 one, the odds are the best. So let's go choose that. This is it. You're short on money. All right. <laughs> of course I am, because I stole my bloody backpack. Oh, here's a porridge shop. Excuse me. I'd like to ask you something. Bro, some kid's talking to us. I haven't seen you around here. I had my bag stolen. A bag? Who cares? A group of four stole my bag. One of them was a little kid. I said I don't know. Slam! Wait! You think you could just ask and then just leave? Yeah, we were having a nice drink here till you came. You aren't leaving already, are you? Like bro says, you can't leave without paying. Paying? Yeah, some money! No way. Yeah, we'll show you how things are done in Aberdeen. <laughs> Give you 
a break today. The pair of boobs. What are you fooling around here for? I'm not fooling around. My bag was stolen. <laughs> I guessed right. What? What kind of monster stole your bag? Four guys. One of them is a little kid. A kid? <laughs> Wong got you. You know him? I saw Wong at Pigeon Park. The park's that way. Thanks. You serious? We were just there, weren't he never we? Stops to think, does he? Oh, come on now. How were we supposed to know he was there? We're just tourists after all. Just came here. The game doesn't even even point us in the right direction though. Doesn't tell us where to go. I guess the red lines, yeah, the red lines are the loading screens. So where it ends. So we know that much. And Pigeon Park is right up around here. So we've got to explore around here and hopefully we'll be able to see him. The little shit. This is Pigeon Park. I think that's him. We need to actually talk to this guy. This guy seems like he's placed here for a reason. Excuse me. Huh? It's fate, you see. Huh? We'll play a match someday. What do you mean? Don't worry about it. Well, see you later. I think he's mentally all there, unfortunately. See, so, unbelievable. You can talk to pretty much all these people. Excuse me. What? They seem like they just woke up on the uh, wrong side of the bed, though, to be honest. There we go. This guy's one of them, I'm pretty sure. Excuse me. Hey, food stop. Maybe not. Good job, please, right? We've been going last year. You've mistaken me for someone else. I've never been to Kobe before. That's strange. I thought all Japanese would eat a Suzuki time. <laughs> right, well, he's definitely mistaken there then. Damn, where is he? <laughs> hmm. That's him. my bag what bag take this oh that's good old quick time events oh, oh shiza i'm sorry it's okay go after him yes <laughs> wow what the gee what the Whoa. oh what no definitely don't want to lose him oh, it seems like a we're doing all right. I wonder what happens if you do lose them. Seems like there's just a combination. Oh, what? Come on, I pressed that in time. No. That's where we just were. Hmm. I wonder what now then. Let's go read the book. Lost sight of Wong. Must find him again. Alright. I think that was set up, to be honest, for us to fail. I think it's one of those missions. Because I do remember that police officer being around. I guess we're going to go back to the park. Or oh, maybe... No. Hmm. Let's go back to this guy. Although he'll probably want our money again, won't he? Excuse me. Huh? Can I ask you... Hey, you can't get things... I'll tell you... I understand. No. Doesn't seem like he's going to be much help. But maybe if we keep on walking up around here, talking to this uh lady 
in the shop, maybe she would have seen something. Um. I don't want you making a disturbance like that again. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're bothering the other customers. Watch it, you hear? I'm very sorry. Well, as long as you understand. Yes, thanks. All right, she, well, she wasn't much help either, was she? But to be honest, I think that's going to be it for the very first episode of Shenmue 2. I think we've progressed a fair bit. Of course, these games that were um, made 20 or so years ago, they're much shorter than current day games. But hopefully we'll be back uploading somewhat regularly. I definitely uh, want to be uploading much more consistently than I have been. Didn't even really get into why I haven't been uploading for a while. But uh, we met this guy again. Come oh, mate, talk to me. Indeed you do. We'll probably play. What do you need? Don't worry about it. Alright, well he's not how much help. But I'll see you guys in the second episode, which should be uploaded within the next twenty-four hours.